Imagine if you will a world shrouded in mystery, where life as we know it is only beginning to take shape. Welcome to the Ordovician era. This was a time when Earth's continents were mostly submerged underwater, with the exception of a few land masses peaking above the surface. We're looking at a period spanning from around 485.4 to 443.8 million years ago. Geological conditions were vastly different from what we're accustomed to in our modern era. The Ordovician era was a cradle of life, where sea levels rose significantly, allowing for a proliferation of a diverse range of species. The continents were clustered around the equator, and the climate was warm and stable. This stability, combined with the high sea levels, created a perfect environment for life to flourish, especially in the oceans. In fact, the Ordovician era saw the first great diversification of life, known as an evolutionary radiation. This era is recognized for the rapid appearance and diversification of marine life. It was the time when the first organisms with hard shells started to appear. These would eventually evolve into the giant shellfish that ruled the Ordovician seas. The Ordovician period was also a time of significant geological activity. The formation of the Appalachian Mountains in North America began during this time, a result of the collision between the North American and African tectonic plates. Volcanic activity was widespread and frequent, contributing to a rich and diverse geological landscape. The world during the Ordovician era was an underwater realm, teeming with life and undergoing dramatic geological changes. It was an era of pioneering life forms, setting the stage for the evolution of more complex organisms. The creatures that thrived during this time were resilient, adaptable, and diverse, setting the blueprint for life as we know it today. As we dive deeper into the Ordovician seas, we encounter creatures that seem more like fantasy than reality. Amidst the waves of these ancient seas, colossal shellfish ruled the waters, the undisputed titans of the Ordovician era. This was an epoch when the oceans teemed with a remarkable variety of these gigantic creatures, each uniquely adapted to thrive in the primordial waters of our planet's early history. One such titan was the Orthocerus, a straight-shelled cephalopod that stretched up to 15 feet in length. Imagine a squid-like creature, but encased within a long conical shell, and you'd be picturing something close to the Orthocerus. With its jet propulsion capabilities and beak-like jaws, this creature was a formidable predator, swiftly navigating the Ordovician seas and snatching up its prey with ease. But even the Orthocerus paled in comparison to the true leviathan of the Ordovician seas, the Camaroceras. This behemoth of a shellfish was the equivalent of a modern-day blue whale in terms of size, reaching lengths of up to 30 feet. Its shell was a massive coiled fortress, providing both protection and buoyancy. The Camaroceras was essentially a giant, shelled octopus, using its powerful tentacles to seize its prey and pull them into its beak for a swift and merciless end. These titans of the sea were the epitome of predatory prowess, their unique adaptations making them the dominant predators of their time. They were the masters of their environment, ruling the food chain with an iron tentacle. Their large size meant that few creatures dared to challenge them, and their sophisticated hunting strategies ensured that they rarely went hungry. But the Ordovician seas were a dynamic, ever-changing ecosystem. Despite their dominance, these colossal shellfish were not immune to the forces of evolution. New forms of life were constantly emerging, each with their own unique set of adaptations, vying for a place at the top of the food chain. These titans, however, were not without threats. A new predator was on the horizon. As the Ordovician era progressed, a new force emerged in the seas, the nautiloids, nature's first true submarine. Now, let's delve into the rise of these fascinating creatures. The nautiloids began their journey in the Ordovician era, an epoch defined by its marine biodiversity. They were an evolutionary marvel, boasting features unseen in any other creatures of their time. One of the most remarkable traits of the nautiloids was their ability to control their buoyancy. Imagine, if you will, a creature capable of navigating the depths of the ocean with the same ease as a modern submarine. 
They achieved this through a complex system of chambers within their shells. By adjusting the gas and fluid levels in these chambers, nautiloids could rise and descend through the water column at will. This ability gave them a significant advantage in the hunt for food and in evading predators. Speaking of food, the nautiloids were no vegetarians, they were carnivores, and their favorite meal, the giant shellfish that dominated the Ordovician seas. Their hard, beak-like jaws were perfect for cracking open the tough shells of these sea giants. The rise of the nautiloids marked a significant shift in the food chain. They became the first known cephalopods, a group that includes today's octopuses and squids, to take on the role of apex predators. But the nautiloids were not just efficient hunters, they were also pioneers of a new mode of life. They were the first creatures to live entirely in the open ocean, a lifestyle known as pelagic. Before their rise, most life was confined to the sea floor, but the nautiloids ventured into the open waters, paving the way for future marine creatures to do the same. These predators marked a turning point in the Ordovician seas, but little did they know, a catastrophic event was brewing. The end of the Ordovician era was marked by a series of cataclysmic events that forever changed the face of our planet. Picture a world thriving with life, then suddenly, a drastic shift in climate and sea levels brings about a brutal, sweeping extinction. This was the harsh reality of the Ordovician Silurian extinction events, a time of significant upheaval in Earth's history, around 444 million years ago. Scientists believe that the first of these events was triggered by an intense bout of glaciation. The Earth's climate, which had been warm and stable, suddenly plunged into a deep freeze. This dramatic temperature drop caused sea levels to fall significantly, a disaster for the abundant marine life that had flourished during the Ordovician period. This was not a singular event, but a series of them, each one as devastating as the last. The second event, which occurred just one million years after the first, was even more destructive. This time, the climate swung in the opposite direction, warming rapidly and causing the ice to melt. The resulting rise in sea levels was catastrophic, flooding the continents and wiping out many species that had managed to survive the first event. These extinction events had a profound impact on the marine life of the Ordovician era, decimating many of the giant shellfish species that had dominated the seas. The once mighty nautiloids, the titan of the Ordovician seas, were among the hardest hit. These fascinating creatures, with their large coiled shells and tentacled bodies, were significantly reduced in number and diversity. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. In the wake of these devastating events, new life began to emerge, filling the empty niches left by the extinct species. This marked the beginning of the Silurian period, a time of recovery and renewed diversification. The titans of the Ordovician seas were no more, but their legacy lived on. These extinction events, though devastating, set the stage for the evolution of new life forms, helping to shape the rich and diverse world we know today. Despite their demise, the titans of the Ordovician era left an indelible mark on Earth's history. These colossal shellfish, the behemoths of their time, may no longer roam the depths of our oceans, but their legacy endures in the fossil records they left behind. The fossils of these Ordovician giants offer us a unique window into a world long past. Just as a historian pours over ancient texts to piece together the story of bygone civilizations, paleontologists meticulously study these fossil records to unravel the secrets of Earth's prehistoric marine life. These remnants of the past are like scattered pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, each fossil holds a fragment of the Grand Tapestry that is the Ordovician period. By piecing together these fragments, we've been able to gain a deeper understanding of the marine ecosystems of this era, the environmental conditions, and the fascinating interplay of evolution and extinction. The fossil records of these giant shellfish are particularly illuminating. They reveal a diverse array of species, each with their own unique adaptations reflecting the richness of life in the Ordovician seas. Their sheer size and dominance in the marine food chain underscore the remarkable evolutionary journey of these creatures.
but beyond the specifics of the Ordovician period, the legacy of these giants offers a broader perspective on the grand narrative of life on Earth. They bear testament to the incredible resilience and adaptability of life, the constant ebb and flow of species, the relentless march of evolution, and the profound impact of mass extinction events. The Ordovician giants may be long gone, but their echoes reverberate through time. Their fossilized remains serve as a humbling reminder of the transient nature of life and the inexorable march of time. They remind us of the awe-inspiring diversity and complexity of life that has graced our planet over the eons. As we marvel at the relics of these ancient titans, we are reminded of the ever-evolving nature of life on Earth, 